What's happening guys? Clay here. We're at Quantum Miami 2023. Today we had the amazing opportunity to talk to the mayor of Miami, Francis Suarez. We talked about how Miami is becoming a booming hub for crypto and Web3, the importance of Bitcoin, not just here in Miami, but worldwide, and why NFT creators, developers, and anybody in this space would want to live right here in the awesome city of Miami. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Check it out. It is my great pleasure to be sitting down uh, with the mayor of Miami, Mayor Suarez. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thanks. Awesome. Thank you so much for sitting down and taking time uh, to speak with us. You know, it's funny. I've been here, I think, six times in the last two years for conferences in Miami, uh, and the energy is electric. And Thank you. It, it, really, it really, truly is. Like, what is so unique and special about this place? that brings, you know, just kind of the, the Web3 and yeah. the innovation to Miami. And, and why do all the conferences want to be here? <laughs> Aside from the weather, yeah. I just came from Washington, D.C. And okay. I can tell you, the weather is significantly better here. Yeah. So I think uh, that's part of it. But I think that there's an energy, like you said, yeah. uh, where our people, uh, Miamians, many of which their origin story is they were kicked out of their country of birth, uh, which in many cases was a communist country. Sure. So they lean into tremendously uh the american dream story right and their story so i think there's an entrepreneurial spirit about miami uh that leans into new technology and when you marry that with this uh, web3 movement um and and you realize now that uh, people who are betting on entrepreneurs and who and cities that are creating themselves around entrepreneurship yeah. are the ones that are going to in my opinion succeed into the future and i think the ones that are pushing them out are going to be are, are going to have trouble and i think we're seeing a huge juxtaposition uh between places like miami that are saying how can i help make miami like silicon valley yep. and places maybe that were before on top that are pushing out innovators yeah so so i mean you guys are obviously one of the most progressive cities in america as it comes to you know bitcoin adoption to embracing web3 and embracing innovators yeah um, you know, we're seeing a litany of, of financial issues in this country right now. Yeah. Inflation, currency yeah. debasement. You know, what do you think Bitcoin does to sort of help hedge that? Like, you know, what's you know, your, your personal stance, yeah. or maybe the city stance on, uh, on look, how that could help? I, I mean, I think what happens is, and I said this in my speech, you know, yeah. people are very frustrated. They're frustrated when they see historic inflation. Mm -hmm. They're frustrated when they see the Fed to combat historic inflation, which is based on historic uh, government spending. Right, money printing. Money printing. Yeah. Uh, uh, you see, uh, you know, interest rates going up by historic rates mm -hmm. so people are getting slammed on both sides their money is worth less yeah. and they have to pay more borrowing costs yep. and when they see that they, they they gravitate towards a system that's not manipulated by those factors yep. and i think that's the the allure of bitcoin the fact that it is um authorless yep. is also attractive because nobody's benefiting from it it's not meant to benefit a particular person which is, i think some of the issues that we're seeing uh, with some of these uh, other coins sure. um and, and i think it, it remains to be seen you know just how powerful it is but when you look at Bitcoin, I mean, people are always focusing on, you know, because people want to create, uh, you know, narratives yeah. about certain things. And so they'll say, oh, well, it's down a certain percentage from its high. Sure. You know, someone like me who's uh, an enthusiast will say, well, it's up 40% this year, right? Right, right, right. So, you know, Bitcoin yeah, throughout its evolution has, it's been a bit of a, of a thunderbolt, yeah. you know? Yeah. It goes up for a long period of time. It goes down yeah. based on a variety of uh, probably macro factors that influence it. Certainly. Um, and then it goes back up. So hopefully it will continue to go back up. Yep. Uh, I'm sure anyone who invested in Bitcoin at $10 or $50 or $100 yeah. is like, you know, this is not a bad place to be. You're still in a great spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it's a very immature asset, right? Yeah, and exactly. It's probably second any. And, and again, yep. look, I'm not here to tell anyone to yep. invest in anything. Uh, yeah, this is not because, financial advice. No, nah, because I think what happens is, if it goes down, then people look at you and go, oh, you're hyping it up. You're the hype man. Right, I'm like, no, right. no, no. Look, my thing is, I invest in, in, in what I believe in. Sure. Right? In what I know. Yep. Right? So do your research. I have, you don't always get it always right. Sure. Right? When you do your research, sometimes there are gaps. Mm -hmm. um, and this is new technology. Sometimes it doesn't work also, which right. which, which is another another reasoning. But the interesting thing about investing is, usually when you invest a certain amount of money, all you can do is lose it. <laughs> but it can go up. 100%, 200%, 500%, 1,000%. 1, so that's the beauty of, 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 of our country. Yeah. Uh, but when things don't go right, you can't, you know, oftentimes there's a tendency to want to blame somebody sure. too, and, and that's understandable. Yeah. So, you know, with all the innovation that's happening here in Miami, I know, you know, Brickle is a hotbed for tons of crypto companies that yes. are coming down here. Um, you know, you know, between AI and just sort of the smart contract realm, it's, you know, just blowing up at this point. Like, like how do you see this technology sort of changing the future of business? It's so a loaded ways. question. It's a loaded question yeah. because I mean, you see the chat AI. You're already starting to see some of the uh, use cases in uh, real the realty 
yep. uh, business, yep. which is a big business in Miami. Yeah, uh, art would be another great uh, one. You know, and some of the things that it's been able to do, pass the bar, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, pass master's level cor MBA courses. Right. I mean, it's incredible what some of this technology it, it, it can do. And like you said, we're in the, in the nascent stages of it. Yeah. So I, I use the example in my speech of Netscape and Napster because uh, those are two companies that everybody has heard of and everybody remembers, like Blockbuster. But we're, you know, the the the, the second iteration, third iteration of those companies are here today in Google and Firefox yep. and in uh, and in Apple TV and in uh, you know and 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 in, and in uh, you know those I'm sorry in Apple Music and in Spotify. So yep. you know th those technologies have revolutionized the world. They so, have. So we, we we get very caught up in who's going to win and who's going to lose as opposed to whether some of this technology is going to actually revolutionize things. And some of it will be around and you know, some will fade away, but some will stick. So Absolutely. last question for you. Miami is an amazing city. For all the uh, innovators, the Web3 des you know, designers, the NFT creators, what would you tell them? Why should they be here? I say for two reasons. We're number one in the nation right now in tech job growth. We're number one in the nation in tech job migration. And we've moved two and a half trillion dollars of AUM which is capital, yep. and we've grown our venture capital pipeline by 500%. We're the only Amazing. city that's projected to continue to grow yeah. while everyone else is projected to shrink. Wow. So if you're looking at the future, yeah. you want to be in places that are, you know, like Wayne Gretzky used to say, you want to skate to where the puck is going. That's right. Not to where the puck is. And yep. I think that's what defines success. Yep. And Miami is that person, that place. And you, and you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. I think he said that as well. That's true. So Major, Major Soros, thank you so much that's for your time. Appreciate it. This is Clay from Blocklights. See you later. Thanks, guys.